fallen Valkyrie. Oh! That's how you like to play it, is it? Oh, <laughs> well. We are running. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kingdom, I'm the Duke, and we are back in Valheim. Thank you for joining me, hope you find this uh, video entertaining. And if you do, at the end of it, hit the like button, that will help me out a lot. Alright, so, yeah, the Aslands. Uh, definitely uh, not that easy of a place to actually try and find your footing there. Um, I went back twice and was driven out pretty easily. Um, I've made some changes to my storage. Uh, you will see, for instance, that I removed the one bone chest that was here and I've marked it charred bone. Uh, the reason why I moved it is I actually went ahead and uh, Place most of the or half this bone here in this warehouse. They actually go into stacks like these. Uh, I think it might be a mod that enables me to do that, but uh, very grateful for that. Uh, so yeah, I was able to move the bone out there. Also, I removed one of the resin storages, and I mounted the Grauston storage now there we go and then the, the one wood the third extra wood here i changed to ash wood so that's where i place my ash wood now and uh, let's put the chart in there and then also i think i made a little bit of a change here at the animal parts i've now got the one for morgan um but there might be yeah for instance there's uh Double there, so I still need uh, one more space for that guy. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. Not sure yet, but anyways, I'm heading back to the Icelands. Uh, still a lot I want to do there. For one, I want to try and get uh, as much as Ashwood as possible today. Only problem is I've run into a massive mob when I try to get a foothold further into the Aslands. I found this cute little building that almost looks like an old church or something and uh, yeah the moment I stepped in there uh, I was swarmed by a big mob including a Morgan, the second one I've run into. And then I came back, did a little bit of things back at uh, my main base, and then I went back to the Icelands and ran into a one star before bone mass power was ready. But now it is ready. I also have a rested bonus, well, sort of. So let's see, yeah, he's still there. Um, as I said, my aim today is try and get as much ashwood as, as possible, and then after that, I want to see if I can get into a little bit further in. Let me just show you the map real quick. Um, I basically got to that point over there, and that's where I was ambushed. Um, maybe I should go to the left. That's maybe also a possibility maybe see if that's a better option but as I said I keep uh, running into that one star guy there maybe I can take him out today um, also that guy seems to be eating the tree or something 
But yeah, the reason why I want as much ash wood as possible is because I want to craft more chart arrows, which uses ash wood, but also the new building pieces that uses ash wood I want to use as well. Let's see if we can draw that guy's attention again. Well, we did most definitely draw the one star's attention. He's coming back. Okay, we're gonna have to use the power. Oh wow. Ouch. And he's still able to uh, stun me. Let's see who will last the longest, shall we? Okay, he's done and dusted. I was getting a little bit worried because of the health I was losing. Now let's see, can we get this guy please? He is irritating me. And that's a miss. Got him! Wow, we even did some damage to the um, enemies around there. Not bad. Okay, let's chop a tree and see if we can get some ashwood or are we going to get coal? That's the big question I have. Oh, resin, charcoal resin, that's something new. Oh, hello. Okay, he's gone. This oh, there's more than one vulture. All you do is chop down a tree, and all of a sudden you are surrounded by enemies. Ooh. It seems these guys have respawned. But let's come on. Smoke buffs. Thank you. Oh, there's a lot of enemies around. I can hear them, but I don't see all of them. That's a one-star twitcher. Let's see what we get from the stump. Uh, Aspert, get. What about the tree? It's probably going to split in two. Yeah, that's normal. And normal wood and ash wood. Okay, so. Good to know. No charcoal. I think the charcoal comes from the ones that already burned down, maybe. Nothing from there. Oh. Hello. Here we go. Okay, if it was not for the bone mass skill of power that was still active, uh, that would have been a very, very hard fight. Okay. So I'm going to continue chopping down trees over here and uh, see how much we can get. Uh, let me head over to this side. I just want to see what is over on this side. Because I really don't remember that much. Just to... Oh, there's a Dwego guy fighting over here. He's probably gonna lose, they always do. 
Okay, I don't see anything else, so let's go ahead with this log. Oh, that's gonna give us... Vultures. Where did they come from all of a sudden? But as I said, there's, there's always something. Like, some more of them come running in. Did I not uh, take this log down? Or do you think it might have been a different one? Anyways, can we continue now, please? Without any further interruptions, that would be much appreciated. So yeah, still trying to um, get a bit of grips off the Ashlands, I have to say. Oh, there's another guy, really. Can't I just forest in peace? Ashwood, nice. Now we do need a lot of Ashwood for the arrows. I think it needs... Eight Ashwood for um, one set of arrows. So that is a lot. Uh, which basically comes down to you use eight ashwood to get one uh to get ten arrows oh, will you please stop running away from me I'm crying out loud yeah so eight ashwood for ten arrows and i think that might be a little bit steep personally it's a log inside this rock. So this is the second time that I've actually seen something with inside the rock. And I don't think that is... Koji, that's, that's not how it's supposed to be. I can hear another one of those fire blobs coming closer. Yeah, there it is. Now, uh, using that other mod that you can plant everything, you can also plant these trees. But for each tree you plant, you actually need one sulfur sulfur and that you get from these lava blobs ah nice resources thank you thank you thank you quite useful these lava blobs okay let's see if we can get that tree Is that another flamenco rock? Oh, we'll have to check that out in, in, in a moment. There's another spawner over there. Man, there's a lot of enemies around. Okay. Let's see what does the inventory look like. Yeah, we still have some space. Let's take a closer look at... Um, if 
that lava patch that I saw. It might be another flamental nerd. Whoa, that is not a vulture. That is something big. Okay, no, it's just part of the spiller. Yeah, I was hoping that it was another flamento nerd. But this area seems interesting, and there's that uh, buildings that I saw previously in the background. Maybe we should take a closer look. Although, if trouble comes, we are going to have to run very fast because we don't have the power at the moment. And I'm a little bit worried about... Ooh. Oh dear, he's close. He's close. I don't have... Uh, I've got 140 arrows. It's a new enemy. Let's take him on and see. But it does look very dangerous there. Was that a hit? Yeah, it was a hit. Fallen Valkyrie. Oh! That's how you like to play it, is it? Oh, <laughs> well. We are running. We need to get to cover quick. Wow, that was a big hit. And a massive pushback as well. Come on, join us in here. Um, let's take him on with the bow. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can take you down. Oh, I just missed there. That was such a good spot. Eh! Really? It took down that whole part of the wall. We're going to have to kite him here. And down goes my pillar. Oh well. Next room. Next room. I need stamina. That was a hit. That was a hit. Another hit. Come on, come on. Before he takes down the bully. Oh, don't run. You do not run now. I don't have fire protection. Up you go. And gotcha. Whew. That was a little bit scary. Thanks for the resources there, but so. My building, my my protection. Okay, let's see if he dropped some anything particular in particular. Celestial feather. Another some more feathers. Interesting. I didn't see any new recipes, so I'm not sure what the feathers are for. Do 
inventory is full. Let's drop the normal wood. We don't really need that at the moment. Okay, I'm back. I emptied my inventory and I just want to show you, I did bring resources to build another teleporter. Um, it's just finding the right spot for it. Um, so I'm just going to go back uh, uh, that away to where I found that fallen Valkyrie because I just want to have a look around again. Okay, so this is the other arch. There's a lot of smaller rocks around here, which is interesting. Some resources. Lava blobs. Fallen trees. I think it might have destroyed the whole arch. Right there. Okay, that looks like a building, most definitely. Where were we? Ah, yes. There's the buildings I was talking about in the background. This also looks like ruins. Okay, so this is a very interesting uh, little art crop with that building over there. Let's see if we can take more of these. We'll destroy that guy. Why didn't he explode? There we go. Another spawner back there. Oh, there's the green light again. And it's actually coming from a building back there. That might actually be a fortress. Interesting. Okay, so judging by the map, there's no way through here. You're going to have to go around one of the edges, basically. Uh, either that or you're going to have to build your way a path across like I did in the previous episode. I was actually surprised that that worked, but uh, I'm glad and thankful that it worked. Let's see if we can pick up some more resources over here. But already I've run out of time for this episode, unfortunately. The enemies are just relentless and it makes progress here in the Aslan's extremely slow. Um, see, here we go again. Okay, there's some more ruins over there, but there's a spawner that's going to probably be in my way over there, I think. That I need to take out. I haven't found any flamenco rocks again. Uh, I don't see one from where I am currently. Uh, that area also looks pretty interesting, but I'm going to have to try and find a place where I can place a portal that is closer to the inside. I, I think that's going to be the easiest way to make my progress, but it needs to be in a safe spot um, because it doesn't I have to protect it. it. It can't be destroyed from where it is. So, yeah, that's going to take some doing. I'm probably going to have to carry my stone cutter around uh, for me to be able to do that. I actually did find a nice spot there, but oof, there's a lot of enemies and I'm going to have to try and get rid of them first. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do a little bit more off camera. Uh, just, just to get some progress, because this is... This is taking uh, quite a while just for me to get any further here in the Aslands, and um, that is a problem. This almost looks like a runestone. 
That is probably not. That is a rune stone. Well, what do you know? In the forest of the far north, our scouts came across a sleeping boy sitting naked in the deep snow with his back to a tree. They wrapped him in the furs and brought him back to the king asleep all the while, with only his eyelids moving. We named him the Winter Child and we took him to be good omen. May the gods have mercy on fools. Interesting. I'm, I, I wonder if this child they are talking about is the same one that you sometimes see in your dreams. Yeah. Let's get out of here, shall we? Thank you for joining me in this episode. Unfortunately, uh, not a lot happening except for the fallen Valkyrie. That was an epic fight. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get further next time, shall we? I'm gonna try and do a reconnaissance, maybe offline, off camera, basically. And um, hopefully, next time we can go even deeper and see what that green light is all about. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you in the next one. If you haven't subscribed or a member yet, why not join the kingdom? It's very good fun. And uh, like the video. And I will see you. Until then, enjoy.